Ten. The state Senate passes a bill that backers say would create an agency to increase transparency. Opponents doubt it, though. News 9's Aaron Brilbeck is covering the Capitol. Well, the buzzword here at the state capitol these days is transparency, and this bill creates the Legislative Office of Fiscal Transparency, or LOFT. But opponents say it's anything but transparent. SB1 creates a new agency of six to eight people that would analyze agency requests to see if the money the agencies want is really what they need. When we make budget decisions in these budget negotiations, oftentimes we're left to the whims of the agencies how much information they want to share with us. A good example, the Department of Health manufactured a crisis by hiding $30 million from the legislature. The legislature bailed the agency out and 200 people were laid off before the state learned the department was squirreling away money in a slush account. The loft agency is designed to combat that, but it comes with a cost. $1.6 million in the first year uh, and some change. Opponents question, why do we need a new level of bureaucracy when we already have a state auditor to do that job? Because the argument I hear from their office and from many agencies is we would be more effective, we'd be able to accomplish that if we hadn't been cut. Do you think that this investment into like our state auditor's office would pr provide the same results? If we give money to this entity, it does not preclude us from also uh, giving them more resources to be able to do more effective audits. The other complaint, the Legislative Office of Transparency, won't be very transparent. Since the legislature is exempted from the Open Records Act, would this Legislative Office of Fiscal Transparency also be exempted from the Open Records Act? So yes, they would not fall under the uh, Open Records Act. Backers of the bill say the agency has to keep some secrets about how and where the money is spent. It now goes to the State House of Representatives. At the State Capitol, Aaron Brillbeck, Oklahoma's own News 9. And Aaron, of course, will be following.